on uh, today. I might even do a few more. I am at uh, CMT Stuttgart, as uh, I've already pointed out, and uh, I'll show you some vans here from Knaus. And uh, as always with any live chat, please keep the language appropriate. Right, I'm going to turn the camera around right now if I can. And there we go. Good. I had problems turning the camera around in earlier live chats because it didn't show the wide angle, but it's, it's kind of the wide angle here. Uh, as always, the live chat, please keep the language appropriate. Now, uh, if you've seen any of my videos in the past, you'll know I have a very negative opinion of canals. So I'm going to deal with that immediately. So I don't recommend that you buy any of their vehicles. I don't buy a vehicle of theirs. If you say any of their vehicles, I suggest you're going to buy a lot of them. Uh, the reasons are the following. First of all, I get more complaints from this company than any other. I mean, get complaints from all of them. If you buy a vehicle, it will certainly, certainly have a problem or two that is the nature of the game with a motorhome what you're buying is a something which is built by hand it's not built by machines as the base engine is baseball that is a man down there and when very few people will have even touched the thing by the time the man part comes out of the factory however the rest of it is a motorhome and the motorhome is largely built by hand and humans make mistakes and that and there's so many things in one of these things that go wrong so uh, whoever you buy from you must expect there to be problems could be the hydraulic system could be the electric system could be all sorts of problems at least happen and another big problem is you've got these walls which have all been stuck together or maybe sellotaped together in the case of canals who knows and um they, the water ingress is a major major problem and therefore uh, i've got to bear all of that in mind and whoever you buy from you could indeed have problems but so having said all that the problem I have with this company is the way they deal with those problems. And there, it seems to be a corporate attitude here of utter couldn't care less. I know that uh, you may say that about other companies as well. I have not noticed it, but I've even uh, on behalf of viewers, I have contacted uh, the, the management and the, the, they just honestly couldn't care less. Uh, whereas for example, with other companies, I have gone to Cartago, I have gone to Heimer, for example, uh, uh, and uh, I've noticed how they come with what I would consider a reasonable proposition. That's number one. Number two is the workmanship in general, which I don't think is, I mean, some brands really are bad. I won't mention any other names, right? Oh, I'll oh, add something here. But I think that comparatively, it's, um, there are much better options uh, on, on the market in my opinion and I have seen one or two vans in my time anyway so that was an MAN 3.14 uh, and the rest of it is, is the motorhome I'll just give a little story about uh, I, I went to a canal stew um, I, I was invited I don't I haven't invited me ever again but I was invited to, and uh, uh, there was uh, one of these they just started doing them on the MAN anyway so somebody I think was from MAN actually asked me if I wanted to take the thing out for a test drive so I got inside the vehicle and uh, that's not an MAN sorry uh, I got inside the vehicle and then I couldn't um, I couldn't turn the key okay so then okay right so the lady was with me she couldn't turn the key so the gentleman who was then um, her boss he managed to turn the key so we got the engine to go on then i couldn't release the handbrake lady couldn't release the handbrake so we got the gentleman the boss he couldn't release the handbrake so i rang up the factory to release the handbrake and uh Anyways, <laughs> that's obviously not the fault of uh, Knaus, but I, I was really, and I thought, you know, this is trying to add so much to a vehicle, then you have all these problems with it. And um, I, I do appreciate that's MAN trying to do with electronics and all the rest of it. Why can't they just keep things nice and simple? Right, okay, let's have a look in here. Doesn't appear to be anyone in this vehicle, Van Station, Van, Van, 
Van Station, Van TI 650 Meg. Give you the price on the way out. Fiat Ducato. It's a new Fiat Ducato. It's a Fiat Ducato 8. And there's uh, still Fiat Ducato 7s, which apparently were, um, they stopped producing them in 2021. Or that's what I thought anyway, but they are here. I've seen them uh, in this very hall. Uh, Fiat Ducato 7s. And the Fiat Ducato 9 is due out this year, which is apparently not as good as the Fiat Ducato 8. So I'm told it's like a poor version of the Fiat Ducato 8. So I'm told, I'm just repeating rumors now. Uh, right, here we've got a German layout at the back. Got storage under there, storage under there. Got this is a, uh, I like this feature. Mind you, in Cartago does it better, but it's uh, still quite nice in this one. Now so you've got a, a wardrobe like that. And you obviously can uh, do it there as well. It's so okay. So I drove man and Scania trucks. M N is extremely rough comparing the two. Yeah, um, I'm sure. Yes, I'm sure that the trucks are, and I mean they do uh, off-road stuff. Maybe I just happened to get a bad one, um, and they did try. Mind you, it was a press event, <laughs> which had cost uh, a fortune probably to organize. So they had every reason to sort of ring up the factory and trying to get somebody to actually uh, fix it. Anyway, so there we go. That was, oh, well, you want the price now? 77,326. Uh, here we've got this dog system here, carrying dogs around. And uh, I've done a video on this. I know not many people are gonna like it with dogs being kept in cages. Uh, there is a point to keeping the dog in the cage, which is apparently uh, and dogs aren't allowed to be uh, running around inside when the car's in motion or something like that. Anyway, um, see that in a different video. Uh, right here, we've got a vehicle with a side bed. I know it's got to put these energy things on, uh, which are for, oh, it's after the tires. And it's either C or an A on the tire. Oh, it depends on the weather, sorry. And, uh, okay, um, okay, here's something called a van wave. Uh, we'll have a look at this. They, they introduced this thing called the live wave, spelling live in a rather odd manner. And if we can get in, this will do so. This is on a, a MAM, we're not going to get in. It's got a German layout in the back, and indeed, it's rather similar to the one we just saw. Um, today, I point out that at this event, there are not so many people here as I expected. So, I mean, in previous days when I've done these lives, I, I was rather, um, it was rather difficult to film because of the amount of people around. But here, it's not, not really, uh, there are not huge amounts of people uh, around, uh, which, um, yeah, yeah, sorry. I know, I know everybody travels with dogs without a cage. I wouldn't want to put my dog in a cage, but then again, I do appreciate that the law is the law. Dog doesn't have to be kept in the cage. It has to be restrained in some way. I mean, to put a seat belt on a dog, um, um, uh, that would do apparently. Don't know, I don't know how you do it, but if anybody wants a demonstration or can do a demonstration at the point, then please, please let me know. Now at the top end of the Naus, we've got these things here, the, the, the top of the range model, Sun I 900 leg. Yeah, special lashes. Okay, sorry, I thought it was just, uh, I thought it was just a seat belt. Uh, this thing here costs uh, nearly 200,000. Uh, I'll see if we can get in. And uh, 196,174. Or some, somebody in there, sorry, can't go in there. But uh, I'd have to point out, in my opinion, this really doesn't stand. It no way stands up to the equivalent model in Heimer, for example, which is a similar price, so to speak. Okay, we've got another integrated motorhome here. And we're getting this one. Uh, we can't get in this one. And, uh, but don't worry, I have filmed all of these elsewhere. So, integrated motorhome at a price of, I think it's 110, I think it is, I can't remember. Price has gone. 112, 113. Ah, thousand, but they're really concentrating now on the camper vans, probably because of the difficulty in getting the Fiat Ducato for the uh, base vehicle for these vehicles uh, down here. Um, I have filmed them so in, in separate air films when, when there was no one around. Uh, these Tourer vans here, uh, which I think I showed a couple of days ago, yesterday wasn't, uh, I think they're, they're very unusual. I mean, 
it's thinking outside the box it's using the bully vw uh, t61 um tra vw transporter <laughs> base uh and so it's really curious from that point of view but uh you know i fear has to you know it's not practical as a long-term bet yeah i think we might get in here if i'm if, if oh i think we are yes yes we're getting in we're in and uh right good show you around this one here look it's got this daft washroom here which is going to be broken the first time you use it oh so we can see what it looks like when it's out so uh, right so that is a washroom it's a collapsible washroom and you can see what it's uh, like when it's not out in other videos this thing here and so then this will move across as well uh, I've got to pull this thing here out and then that can I can't be I might, I might be able to do it with one hand there you go there uh, one hand and one knee I can do it so that goes across like that so you can use the toilet and uh, right so what then happens is you can collapse the washroom sort of back in it'll move back in so if you're doing that on the if you live by yourself right so there's only one of you if there's only one person sleeping in the bed then maybe that's not such a bad idea i wouldn't wouldn't have uh, anything against that you know for um but then it's got a reasonable sized uh, little cupboard there um uh, do I know if they use original VW frame? Ch it is the original VW. It's not an Alco chassis. And Jason, hello, Jason. Uh, maybe they're all nursing hangovers like me. Oh, well, that, that could be the case. Uh, got steps up to the, the the bed at the back, and here. There you go. So uh, here though, we've got this thing here also pulls out to make make a bed. I don't want to pull it out because I'm frightened it's going to break in my hand. No, no, sorry, I'm just, I'm not going to risk it. Uh, but, but this pulls out and comes down here just before this television is. I'm a bit frightened that thing hitting the television. And uh, that makes, this is an option uh, for the side bed for one or two people i mean you may think okay well you're not doing anything else with the space which i suppose is relatively true uh but um done it okay look it's using the space up why um this uh works or uh, is largely because of the amount of space inside it is really really high for a six meter vehicle so from that point of view it is it is really quite quite uh, that, that that's that is positive it's just that you know i'm just frightened of these things like this this expandable expandable bathroom um is going to uh it's going to break so anyway look i'll show you this the the soft close function now oh, how many goes soft close function works <laughs> and okay let's have a look at this now from the uh, outside uh, note that the, uh, there's a bit of a gap there for your feet uh, and your legs so if you're sitting on this chair here uh, then then you do have a reasonable drop for your legs and another good thing about this despite its small size six meter van is this you've got this really large garage you can easily get two bikes in there so I mean that's that that's uh, that's positive as well the price is around a hundred thousand something along those lines it's, it is it is curious though. So, ain't got a door in this side as well. And uh, that's that's the toilet obviously. And that's a service box. And in this service box you can actually connect the electricity. You can um, there's the water. And the advantage of connecting the electricity through something like this is you thread it through. You see there's a hole down there. Right, so you thread your thing through and like that. And when this is then closed, nobody can well, I have to give a really strong yank to get your uh, electricity out. So as that's a lot of pile of problems, what they do is they go and pinch the uh, uh, next person's uh, cable instead of yours. Oh, I think we're getting this one here. I think. If we can get in, good. If we can't, we can't. It's got a German layout. M-A-N. Got this bed above. I want to show you this as well. Uh, television here, 25 kilowatt hours per 1,000 hours of use. 
Now, my I've got a really big battery in mine, 250 uh, amps. That is approximately, approximately three kilowatt hours. And uh, well, from that, how a, a big battery like mine would, how long this television would work via an inverter, working at 100%, which never happens, but let's just pretend. It's using a huge amount of fuel. So you only really use the television on um, hookup, in my opinion. Unless you've got a really strong power bank. There you go. That's what it looks like inside. It's got aircon up there. And have a look in the bathroom as well. In the bathroom, uh, we've got this floor. And you see it's got two, two I like having two um, drainage holes. But they're the small drainage holes. And in my opinion, they're not much good. Uh, here we have uh, the. This comes out. This is a false wall, but you don't have to use the false wall. There's the shower. Uh, but if you, it's probably just what well use the false wall because you've got electricity points uh, down there. Uh, well, and here's a, here's an extra bed up here which comes down uh, electronically. So at the push. Of a switch. Now, what the old? I like the size of this table. That's a pretty good table. I mean, there's plenty of space there. Personally, I want a big table. I'm not, not everybody wants the same thing. Everyone wants different things. I like a big table. Some people want three burners and two. I think two will do, but some people want three. Uh, there's another look at another service box, and. Uh, Good, so you can see there's not so many people here today, and uh, but uh, also just check there's no questions. Yeah, uh, no, um, not so many people here today as there was. Anyway, that's a quick look around the uh, Knaus uh, motorhomes here. Um, I think actually I've walked past the mall. Um, I haven't been in the mall because of the amount of people. Uh, yeah, I think it is. Only, who who uses a camper shower? I use it all the time. I use mine. Well, depending on the weather, I mean, weather like today, I'll use it once a day, but um, on a, uh, oh, sometimes twice, maybe if I'm feeling particularly, uh, but I, I always use the camper shower, but I know there's plenty of people who never use them. So I think if you've got a campsite, I do appreciate you use the campsite. Here, I've got a campsite, and uh, the thing with the campsite for me here is I've got to walk across, got to walk across the car park, and it's freezing cold outside, and uh, so it was minus six this morning. I'd rather, I'd rather just wash myself in my own um, motorhome. And at least in my own motorhome, I know it's all my own mess inside. So uh, that, uh, that's that. <laughs> oh, uh, it's on the Stellplatz. Well, no, Stellplatz, um, Stellplatz, you wouldn't expect actually to have a washroom, but um, uh, the campsite you would. I, I think that's one of the differences between the Stellplatz and campsite. Okay, right, so thanks for being here today. I hope you found that interesting. I'll see if I can do another one. I'll try and do another one. Might, might be able to. This evening at 21.15, I have got the close of the affair. How can I possibly have filmed the close of this affair before it actually happened? Aha, uh -huh, that's a big mystery, but I have. Anyway, um, Oh, sorry, the camper shower is only useful on a cell plat. Yes, yeah, I know I'm with you now. So you, you, usually when you're in a cell plat or on a, on a motorway or something like that, you use the shower. Yep, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> uh, good, I'm trying to think when I use... No, I, on the campsite where I live, I use the shower in the summer a few times. So I, like, I like the pressure because, I mean, I've got no pressure at all in my vehicle. <laughs> Okay, thanks very much for being here and all the best from me in Stuttgart, Germany. And uh, I'll try and upload another one uh, later today if I can. If I can't, then I'm sorry. Bye for now. Thanks, Ed. <laughs> Any good one-person focused vans today? Any good one-person? Oh, you want a, a one-person van than Fenton? Not really. Although that one we just saw now would be a one-person van, wouldn't it? That, uh, that funny thing on the, with VW. <laughs> okay, see you for now. Bye.